Hey everybody, I hope you really enjoyed the opportunity to listen to our videos. This is part C and part C is wrapping it up and telling you, hell, you don't have to go there. The eternal lake of fire, not prepared for you. You got a choice. Either go where you're accommodated to go, which hell will be glad enough, or the lake of fire will be. Because hell is not the final place, it's the lake of fire. Or you can go with Jesus said, I have prepared a place for you in heaven. He is putting mansions up there for us, man. Each person he's prepared for. I mean, I'd rather go with what is being prepared for me. The word, the word said, what God has for me is for me. So let's go get what we let's go with Jesus is doing. Let's go where he's preparing us for us. There's a place for us to go in heaven with the Father. Let the devil and his angels go where they have a place prepared for. Remind them of his future. And let us remind us of our future, which is with Jesus Christ, with God Almighty, with the blessing of the Holy Spirit in our presence. That's the key. I want you to understand it. What God has for me is for me. I hope you take what God has for you. Amen. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is part C. We're wrapping it up. Amen. Are higher than your thoughts. My ways are higher than your ways. We have to go. That's why he said being spirit. That's why he's trying to say being spiritually minded is, is peace. Cardinally minded is life and death. Yes. And you know, even in, and let's talk about this. Let's talk about eternity for a second. Just here for a second. I just want to get you. I got another concept for you. Right. On this earth is seasons. And, and therefore, we measure time based on that season. Mm -hmm. And I don't think when you say the sun, there ain't no season in the sun. Ain't no, it, 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 the sun is the sun. <laughs> it, 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 it ain't no rising up and down with the sun. Right, right. There is no winter and summertime with the sun. It is. The sun is. Are you with me? Right. The sun just is. All right? <laughs> That's our understanding of, what, of, of the concept of eternity. It just is. It's only here. That's what it said, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadows of death. Mm -hmm. You're walking in the valley of the shadows of death. You're in the shadow of death. But when you leave here, you move into, you move out of death. Death has no, that's why he put his stuff, set your affection on things above. Where, where it's above all this other junk. Above death. There's no death in heaven. Just death here. And you're in the shadow of it. So he's trying to say, I don't want you to get, once you get born again, I, he just said, I just want you to stand. You still got to get a soul which has been planted with a whole bunch of seeds. And you got a body that's like, I ain't, I know I ain't going to, I'm not subject to it. Matter of fact, this is what it says right here. I'm going to read this to you. Verse 8, Romans 8, verse 5. For they that are after flesh do what? Do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Chris. Mm -hmm. For to be commonly minded is death. Mm -hmm. But to be spiritually minded, look at that, man, is life and peace. See, the cardinal knows it has an end time. The flesh. It knows it, Chris. It knows it has an end time. It knows it has a, a, a designated what do you call it? There's a point of time for every man to die. Brother Jackson, there's a point of time. Right. Right? But he said, because the cardinal mind, look at this verse 7, because the cardinal mind, guys, is enmity against God. For look at this, Chris, the reason why your flesh don't give a dime, it won't give a dime, mm -hmm. because it said, I am not subject to the law of God. Have y'all ever realized that? This piece that keeps talking to you, the piece that sit there, the wrong person touch him, it, it, it just says, I'm responding to it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm talking about a woman. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm just saying, touch. Mm -hmm. You respond to it. Mm -hmm. Because it's programmed to do that. Mm -hmm. It said, it is not subject, Brother Jackson, to the law of God. And even very clear, it said, look, this, this that you're dealing with, this that you're struggling with, Chris, 
neither indeed can be. If you're trying to show your saint, your salvation, if you're trying to show your, your righteousness through your flesh, not gonna happen. it's not going to happen. It, said neither, it even said, neither indeed can be. Right. So if you're basing your salvation on your flesh, if you're basing your salvation on the thoughts of your flesh, your brain, which is fed all kinds of stuff throughout the day, it said, neither can be. Mm -hmm. For they that the flesh cannot please God. Mm -hmm. But you are not in the flesh. Amen, praise God. But in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if any man has not the connection. The spirit of Christ. The spirit of Christ, Chris, it has not the connection. He is none of his. God ain't got nothing to do with you. You, you, you. you have been disconnected because when that connection occurred in the garden between Adam and Eve, that meant it was a break between man and God for spiritual. All right? He says here, and if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. The body is dead because of sin. The body is disconnected because of sin. But the spirit is connected because of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead, that's why it keeps going back to Romans, I mean Philippians 3.10, the power of resurrection, right? If the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he didn't raise up Christ from the dead. That's why he said, I need to know the power of his resurrection. I need to know him and the power of his resurrection. The raise up Christ from the dead shall also quicken. What does quicken mean, Brother Jackson? Gonna, Come on now. Revive. Come on, to revive. Up, okay, speed revive. Up, to speed Come up. Speed to, up. Uh, oh. yeah. To Come energize. On. Come on. Um, uh, excite. Uh -huh. it, it, he said, he said, he said, he said the word I wanted you to say it uh, all. Okay. Crystallize. How about bring a lot? Bring a lot. The name okay. alive. Okay. The spirit, he's a quick, remember the Bible said he's a quickening spirit? Mm -hmm. He's a life-giving spirit. That's what Jesus is. That's what God is. Okay. When you connect to God, you connect to life. Amen. He said, that's what I said, matter of fact, I got that on this next one. We'll close up this one. I think it's on this one. Did I change it yet? Thank you. I didn't change it. No, I didn't. This one I just wanted to show you the Romans 7 where it's talking about the, the, the flesh. The flesh. But what I want you to know I'm saying is when God told Ro, uh, Adam and Eve that if you eat this fruit you should surely die. Yes. You know the translation could easily say this. You surely be disconnected. Mm -hmm. You'll be surely disconnected if you eat from this fruit. If you eat from this tree. Mm -hmm. See, you were not meant to die. But if you disconnect, you shall surely die. God is connected to you through Jesus Christ. And therefore, that's the author and finish of your faith. He will do it. And the fact that you know Christ is life. Come on, brother. If you're disconnected from your source yes. of life, yes. you die. You die. It wasn't that he 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 I'm going to kill you. The thing is, is you, you are disconnected you, you, from your soul. That's the whole point, yes. And, and He's not killing you. Reserved. You don't have it within you. We don't have it within you don't. us. You don't. Right. And therefore, you go to where a dead spirits go. But the choice is, you can... He's reaching out. He said, just reach out. And I'm here. Amen. Amen? Yes. Here's another one right here, and I'm just trying to, but this is part of Chris, we, as far as our flesh, Chris. I'm just saying, the part of us, right? I like what John, uh, Paul was saying. Paul was a, it was a deep man, right? Mm -hmm. Most of the books of the Bible, the New Testament, are written by Paul, right? Those letters, right? Mm -hmm. Paul said this in 7, verse 14. For we know, Chris, that the law is spiritual. Even the law itself is spiritual. But here's the problem. I'm caught. Soul, look at that, Chris. Soul under sin. Adam sold me. He sold all of us mm -hmm. to sin, under sin. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, 
that I do. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now and then there is no more I that do it, but sin that dwells in me. For I know that in me, Chris, in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me. There's your brother, you're talking about that will, right? You said that, right? It's present with me. But how to perform that which is good, I find not, not in my flesh. For the good that I would do, I do not. But the evil, which I would not, I do. That I do. Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I, it is no more I that do it, Chris, but the sin that dwells in me. I find then in law that when I would do good, mm -hmm. evil is present with me. Mm -hmm. That means when Chris go get in that car, evil is present with you. Brother Jackson, when you head to Southside, now, what else on that south side? What church you go to? Sandy Valley. Sandy Valley. Mm -hmm. Evil is present with you. That's right. And everybody else who went in there, mm -hmm. evil is present with them. That's right. Because they got the flesh on. For I delight, in verse 22, for I delight in the law of God after the inward man. There's my spirit man again, guys. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. But I see another law in my members, uh, Chris. I see, you see, you know, warring against the law. Where, Brother Jackson? In my mind. Mm -hmm. And bring, Chris, bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is where, Brother Jackson? In my members. In my members. Mm -hmm. I just want to keep it simple. Okay. Well, you well, right, 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 right. So when we, um, just to, to throw something at you guys, when, uh, Evil is present with me. Yes, sir. And what I would like to say is that when Jesus asked the disciples, that's what I was looking ahead, for when uh, you were reading. Uh -huh. when Jesus asked the disciples, hey, who do they say that I am? And then who do you say that I am? Yes, sir. And Peter said, you know, you know, you are the Christ, the Messiah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then immediately thereafter, Satan rose up in Peter. Yes, sir. And Jesus had to chastise yes, Satan and say, get thee from behind me. That is exactly what that is, is saying. Yes, sir. It's, you know, here it is in one moment. Yes, sir. Jesus is giving him accolades uh -huh. and saying, you don't know where you, you the only way you could have got that is from the Father, from yes, the Spirit. Sir. Yes, sir. And then boom, there was Satan right there. Did you preach? Did you find that? Did you yeah. find that? Yes, it's in uh, Matthew 16. Um, if you go to verse 15. Okay, stop for a second before I get it. I wanted, we just read, you just read Warren against your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read that piece where he said, after he said, Satan get behind, what did he tell Peter? Okay, after he said, Satan get behind, behind him. Yes, sir. He says here, What is that? You offense to me, so so. Okay. And hold on for a second. Okay, he says, "Get thee behind me, Satan! Thou art an offense to me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men." Yes, sir. Right. Matter of fact, one translation says, "You you 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 think you you mind for the things of man, right? Not of God." Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying is you you became a you became cardinally minded. You are an offense to me. Not only that, but it just it shows very, very. Uh, it, it's really not subtle, but it shows how easily. Yes, easily. We I can, like that, brother. What looks like Come on. it's something that God would want us to do, but Come it is on. not. Come on, that's right? something so subtle. Because he's trying to say, look, we don't want these things to happen to you. He says it got to happen. <laughs> See that's see that's, yeah, on, that's that's your flesh saying that no, from the spirit I must suffer these come things on. and and um <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say going back to yes, what we sir. were talking about Aaron Rodgers yes, and sir. others and all of us all, all of us, us. All he, of he's us. just an example of all of us yes sir how we have to really ask God to 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 just penetrate yes sir and, and continue to soften our hearts so that we can be mindful of his spirit yes, sir. and what his spirit is saying 
not what we want our flesh to interpret it as. Yes, sir. You know? That's the point. You might hear the word about trust the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to Which thy own mean? understanding. Yes. That's why I say, I'm trying to say, keep it simple. We lean too much to our own understanding. We try to reason things out. God is in there saying, I'm telling you, the kiss system is very simple. Mm -hmm. I am saying to Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, I know I have not had all my, my, my issues resolved. And you know what? He accepted me even when I didn't have my issues resolved, guys. Mm -hmm. he, did, he did not. Mm -hmm. But you know what, Chris? I want to show you this, Chris. This is for you, man. This is for you. This is for me, you, everybody else. I just want to throw it at you. Okay. You ready for this? I'm ready. When you tell me I'm saying, why God sends people to hell? And I told you God don't send people to hell. Did you all check in, in Matthew 25, starting in verse 41? I got something for you on that. All right. You ready? I'm, I'm listening. I'm gonna just, you keep Stop. listening. Move, keep verse listening. 41, I'm looking at it. Come right on now. Yes, sir. Hey, Chris, check this out. You try to find up? You try to get your you try to get the you try to find yourself? I got my I write I write well. Okay, okay. I, I, I won't throw this at you. You okay. ready? I'm ready. I tell you God will send people to hell, right? Mm-hmm. Alright? I'm gonna read something to you here. Okay. Verse 41. 40 the one before that was people who, who fed the hungry and all that other stuff. He said, Then shall he say unto them on the left hand. He had people put on the right hand, Chris, mm -hmm. and he had some people put on the left hand. And he said, those on the left hand, depart from me, Brother Jackson, uh -huh. you curse, mm -hmm. into everlasting fire, prepare, prepare, I want to do it, prepare, mm -hmm. Chris, prepare, okay. for who? The devil. And his angel. And so, so it was prepared, Brother Jackson, Amen. not for man, mm -hmm. but for the devil and his angels. Amen. I just want you to understand that. Hell was not prepared for you. Mm -hmm. It was prepared for the devil and his angels. Amen. Guys, keep it simple as Chris, it's like this. If, if, if I didn't build this house for you, you don't have to go there. Mm -hmm. I built this for somebody else. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have to. It was not. It was not prepared for you. It was prepared for the devil and his angels, mm -hmm. not for man. Mm -hmm. Adam sold himself. Mm -hmm. It said, "Who who 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 came into the garden?" It's a Satan. Right, right. And it came subtly. Chris, it can't, it, does that make so much trying to say is, I remember that song, what God has for me is for me. Mm -hmm. Well, God didn't have hell for me. Right. <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. I can tell That's you. Chris, I'm just trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. That's the way you was training people. I did not train you to do that. I trained you to do this. Mm -hmm. I, the preparation or the training you had is for this. Not for that. Mm -hmm. He said hell is for prepare. It says right there the everlasting fire is prepared for the devil and his angels, not for you. Amen. That's why he said you don't have to go there. You are not designed, you are not identified. Chris, you, I don't have, God is saying, I don't have a reservation for you for to be there. You said to show up and check in mm -hmm. on your own. Are you, I, I, does that sound more simple than I'm trying to say from my, my perspective? Mm -hmm. Then what do you say? Well, yeah, I want to hear your perspective for that. Yeah, I'm, now, I'm saying is, is there a hotel, a house, a place prepared for somebody, yeah. not for you, mm -hmm. but you show up anyway? Mm -hmm. I, I, exit ramp. You don't, I, 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 matter of fact, for your whole life, I'm going to give you an exit ramp mm -hmm. because this path mm -hmm. that you born on it's going to a place prepared for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exit ramp. Take it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take it. It's not for you. This is not your destination. Mm -hmm. That's simple. Keep it simple. That's the KISS principle. 
So I say I like your principle of Bastion, Chris Bastion. Bastionisms. Isms. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you the Jesusism, <laughs> which is it ain't for you. Amen. Why you come? Why you coming in here? This is not for you. It's like drinking poison. It wasn't for you. It was for the people that not supposed to do this. The devil and the angels is what the everlasting fire was prepared for. But Jesus is talking to people now. But he's saying is, then he said unto them on the left, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For when I was hungry, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, Chris, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and you visit me not. Then shall they answer also, answer, also answer him and say, Lord, when saw we that thee a hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then he answered them, saying, Brother Jackson, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you did it not to one of the people that you sit there and try to condemn to go to hell, not the people you sit there and say they ain't saved, not to the people that sit there that, that should, you feel they should go to hell, not those people that I did not prepare hell for in the first place, but you you, you decided you want to put them in there. If you didn't do the least of them, you did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into ever into life eternal. Mm -hmm. Isn't that different? Mm -hmm. That's a simple gospel, man. Mm -hmm. If hell is not prepared, the conclusion of this, because we get ready to do the communion, for those who listen to this video, <laughs> those who will listen to this video, and Chris also noticed that the videos we did in the past, mm -hmm. you'll see the numbers of more views as time goes by. Oh, yeah. And I need to put those tags in there and uh, it's probably like a description. I need to go back to all those and put tags in there because when people do search, that's when they write the tags and what people use to find things, right? When they mm -hmm. look it up stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the, the point is <laughs> that, that time, God will lead those who want to get this video. Yes, sir. But my point is that this God does not, this punishment is for people who have decided to not get off the exit ramp. Mm -hmm. And you don't, you don't, the toll is paid when you get off. <laughs> I like that, Chris. Mm -hmm. I like that. The toll is passed when you get off, man. Mm -hmm. but Chris, Brother Jackson, I'm going to read this last one for you anyway. I think it's important. Go ahead. Ja Brother Jackson, I'm going to leave, I mean, Brother Chris, this is what I'm reading. I didn't want to pass it out because I got the KISS principle. Chris, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Right, right. It said, in the title, he said, for God so loved the world. That, that, that means everybody, right? Mm -hmm. In the world, right? Yes, sir. Now, I know we want to put people, some people want to put people in, into to destruction. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says that, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever just believes in him, not works, but whosoever believes in him should not perish. But have everlasting life. For God sent not the Son into the world to condemn the world. Are, are you with me? The gospel, you are not supposed to preach. You must preach the gospel, not condemnation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because God sent his Son into the world. He didn't send his world, sent Jesus into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. So therefore, I have to pick up the mantle of them being saved. Mm -hmm. that's, what I, that's what you're supposed to be equipped to do, mm -hmm. is to help people to get saved through Jesus. I think one reason for that is because really in our minds, Come on, in our carnal minds, yes, sir. it's evident by what we, by the struggle that we have, that intuitively, yes, sir. we already know we're condemned. <laughs> and we may not be able to always say yes, that, sir. but intuitively we know that. Intuitively. Not, that's uh -huh. one reason why we fight the way we fight. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. So I need to really, I, 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 you don't really need to tell me something I already know yes, in that sense. Yes, sir. You need to tell me something I don't know, which is that I can't be saved through Christ yes, Jesus. Yes, sir. That's why and, I think it's so fact, important. The scripture just confirmed what you just said. Look at what I keep reading. Look Amen. at this. Look at this. He that believes on him, Chris, is not condemned. But he that believes not, Chris, is condemned when? Already. Amen. That's what you just said. He is already condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Mm -hmm. For this is condemnation, Chris. That light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light. Mm -hmm. Because their deeds were evil. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. For everyone that does an evil hate is the light. Right, right. Neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved. Mm -hmm. In other words, I don't want to be corrected. I don't want to change. But you're drawn to that marvelous light. Mm -hmm. That's what Peter said. That's why I said that I may know him. The more I know him, I'm drawn toward him. And he will reprove those things that I need to fix. Amen. And it takes time. Right. That's what the problem we are, Chris. We don't want to give time. Mm -hmm. But you know what? He gives. I just wanted to know, to listen to the video. He gives time. Mm -hmm. I don't need your time. I don't need to worry about your time. You not you can't get me into heaven. You can't get me out of heaven. I just need him. And he has patience for me. Amen. He has patience for you. He got patience for her and anybody else. God loves us, man. Mm -hmm. So I'm just annoying this book about. But look at it. And then verse 21. But he that does his truth, or does it, that was that, right? Yeah, do, do does his truth, truth come to where it was? Come to the light. Comes to that his deeds may be manifest. That's what I'm trying to get people to understand, Chris. Is that why you need to get? He wants you to come to the light so that you can be reproved. So, so he can be. Let him know who. That's what I'm trying to say. Thanks to whoever listening to this video, whoever listened to this anywhere. He wants you to come as you are. Amen. So that he can work with you. Right. He don't need you to put on a mask, Chris. He don't need you to act. He don't need you to don't play. You don't need to play. He already know what you, he sees you. So just be real. Be real until he change you. Mm -hmm. Be authentic. That's right. Be authentic because that, you know I like this. As a matter of fact, one of the things that came to my mind before it came because when you go to a hotel, the hotel tells you where you are. I need to know. It says you are right here. I need to know where I am so I can know where I gotta go. I need to know where I am. He don't need you to pretend. That's the problem. We're too busy trying to pretend. Oh, I'm on. A, I'm on. I'm on. I'm already in the lobby. No, you're not. <laughs> you put us way over here in the wrong room with the wrong people. But if I knew, if you accept the fact and go ahead and recognize where you are, Brother Jackson, there you know where you're about to go. But if I keep acting, pretending. Condemn me, I won't go to the light. Amen. That's what it said, that, they're, that they are wroth in God. Mm -hmm. I need to look up that word wroth. The bottom line is God will work with you. That's all I'm trying to say. Sure will. Amen? Amen. So go ahead, bro. Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, dear Father. Thank you for being here and Woo. giving us this word this morning. God. Once again, you have revealed to us some things that are to, to us. Yes. Uh, particularly, specifically, mm. dear Lord. Uh, we hear your word, and uh, as unique as our lives are, dear Father, you have a way yeah, of right. being able to apply that word to each and every one of us, no matter who we are, <laughs> where we come from, what our background has been, what experiences oh, we've had. Yes. We thank you, dear Father, that you. you have chosen us to love uh, unconditionally. Yes. Help us to do likewise. Yes. Help us to take on... Uh, as as we can, dear Father, the mind of Christ, <laughs> a loving mind, a, a mind that recognizes that not everyone is going to be our friend. No. Not everybody is going to be somebody that loves us. Don't need them. Not everybody is going to respect us, dear Lord. <laughs> Don't care. But let us likewise take on your, the character of your son, Jesus. Yes. To love nevertheless, to respect nevertheless. Yes. To, to have mercy yes. on others nevertheless. Yes. Dear Father, thank you for. Thank you. This relationship that we have. Yes. And the, the, the mission mm. 
to go out and help others to preach your gospel and let them know that <laughs> as we are saved, that they can likewise yes. be saved. Dear Jesus, we thank you. Yes. And that's why we do this Woo. on a regular basis. Yes, Lord. To, to recognize who you are and to, as you said, that every time that we do this, we do this in remembrance Woo. of you. And right now, mm. you're the most important thing in our lives, dear Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we do remember you. Yes. So right now we take this bread. Yes. We break it and eat it. Mm. In your memory. In Amen. your memory. Amen. Because mm. 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 you see my kids some principal? Mm -hmm. Very simple. I ain't gonna make this deep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't gonna make this deep. I'm just telling you right now. Keep going, brother. Keep going. Let's, yeah, yeah. Man, he said do this and remember. What, what is this? This Go is ahead. the blood. Come on. This represents the blood of, of, of Jesus. Yes, sir. It's the pure blood. Oh, okay. what does it do? All blood that was <laughs> that was that has been shed. Yes, sir. In the past, mm. today, yes. and in the future. There is only one <laughs> blood. Yes, sir. That can cleanse all mankind of righteousness. Come on, now, brother. Oh, excuse me, of sin. Yes, sir. And make us righteous. Come on now. Make us white as snow for those who believe in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. <laughs> so Jesus, we thank you. Yes, sir. That Woo. Your blood was shed for us, and not only that, but it yes. just goes to show how powerful yes. your blood really is. It's because powerful. your blood was shed yes. for all of mankind. Yes, yes. You are the only sacrifice that God would accept. <laughs> Hallowed be thy name, dear Jesus, the name above all names. <laughs> so that's why we pause. And we take this contents yes, in your memory, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> soften our hearts to your word, to Come your will, to your way, Come to on. your character. Come on. That <laughs> our minds be renewed and we speak and walk and talk according to your, your the will of the Father. Come on now. Which is what you did. <laughs> you are the ultimate example. Yes. And now we take this cup, we drink it. Uh-huh. In remembrance of you. In remembrance Amen. of you. Amen. It's all designed to show you, Chris, I paid for it. I already paid for this, man. I want y'all to remember this. I did it. Mm -hmm. Jesus, at least I paid for this. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to do the career, because I want y'all to do as often as you can to do what? To remember, Amen. I paid the price. Amen. Go ahead, brother. And we thank you, dear Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you. Yes. Because for us, as much as we sin, mm -hmm. the thing is, is the grace of God is so much greater. Yes. And you are... <laughs> Again, the, the epitome of that, dear Father, mm. dear, dear Jesus. Yes. God's Son, mm. the only begotten Son. Come on. Wow. We, we just, <laughs> the more and more we get into your word and, and about you, Jesus, we, yes. we are in awe. Yes. And it's just like these resources that are in this place. Yes, come on. Mm. Little did we realize how you multiply these things out and how we would come by these resources. Mm, mm. <laughs> and that they would be given back for the glorification of your kingdom. Yes. <laughs> for the growth not just of us, but for those who hear your word. Yes. And it comes to mind, dear Jesus, that <laughs> we don't have to be nope. flamboyant. Nope. We don't have to be <laughs> overly articulate. Nope. We don't have to use big words. Nope. <laughs> we just keep it simple. Keep it simple. We don't have to put our spin on it. Come on. Because it's your truth. I think that's the problem with our spin on it. It's, it's, it's your way. It's the way of the Father. Yes. That's all we need to do. That's all we need to do. And for those hearts and those Ooh. minds and those people that come across your word and are, are willing yes. to know you, Jesus. Come on now. They will likewise experience a miracle that we have experienced. Yes. Which is that relationship that has been renewed with the Father. Yes. These resources here and the other resources that we have and that we will come to understand. Come on. Uh, those tools that we have there out there are also resources that are be, to be used spiritually. Yes. We thank you. Thank you. As you reveal those things to us. We say these things in your precious and holy name. Amen. 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 Hey, Chris, and I want to. made me think about, you know, you and, and what you, you have with what you have. You know, yeah. The, the, the photography and, yeah. and the other stuff, you know. Yeah. That, that's 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 what I'm, I mean. That's what these these things are. You know, we think this it's not secular stuff, really. Uh -uh. If we look at it, it's really meant to be used for for His glory. Yes, sir. You know. You know. Amen.